It's, uh... Oh! Oh! Ha! Uh, right. Uh, review. Review for, uh, uh, uh Blue Valentine. Uh, for Source Fed Nerd. Right. Um... Right. Review. It's, uh... Well... It's... It's not a documentary. Or, nor is it a found footage type of film. It's... Despite the... Well, you would think it's a found footage film or a documentary, but it just feels so real to the point of discomfort. Now... The movie Blue Valentine itself, it doesn't follow a progressive linear line, per se. If anything, it's more of a timey, whiny, wibbly, wobbly sort of thing. I mean, it jumps from the past, uh, when two people uh, named Dean and Cindy are falling in love with each other. And then it jumps to the present, where things are... They're not so much on the rocks, they're off the rocks. They're in jumbles, it's in pieces, it's a shambles. It's terrible. It's pain. This is the painful part to watch. Now, in the past, it's always better to a point. In the past, it's cute to see them court each other, you know. It's very apparent that these two are very much in love with each other. But it's. In, even in the present, you can see a little bit of that courtship shine through. But more, more often than not, the, Dean and Cindy are fighting with each other. And it's kind of jarring, yes, it's always jarring to jump between the past and the present. And you're wondering when it is because it's so real, it's disheartening the closer you get to the end. And you also often wonder like, okay, is this when they're in love with each other or when things are falling apart? It's actually kind of easy to find out when, what, when it is, uh, just by looking at the characters. Like Cindy, she looks haggard and worn out and lost a little bit of that sparkle in her eye, whereas Dean, he looks a little bit more disinterested and more to the point, he's actually kind of going bald, like right there. Now, I gotta give credit where credit's due, like, uh, Ryan Gosling and Michelle Williams did an awesome job in this, mostly because it gets you right here on their performances. You by it that they are two people who are very much in love. Yet despite that, the thing I find very encouraging is that after this was filmed, they aren't dating each other, they aren't considering getting married, and like all these other romantic comedies or romances or what have you where the, the main leads always get together. And it's so nice to see that professionalism still exists in Hollywood, but I digress. Right, Blue Valentine. Um, it's... Uh, it's it's a one viewing type of film. It's best to say that you have seen this once, and well, even then, it's probably not best for a first date film or in the early stages of a relationship. Make sure that your relationship is on bedrock if you're going to be watching this with a loved one. Other than that, viewer discretion is advised. Cheers.